everyone, it's Catherine out at the Houston Woods Nature Center, and I'm out standing on one of our many creek beds. The creek at the moment is pretty dry, but these long-tailed salamanders are actually going to thrive in this kind of environment. They really enjoy laying underneath of that shale and limestone bedrock. It could also be found under moist logs and leaf debris as well. Now you'll notice they get their name by that really beautiful long tail they have. That tail can get as long as over half their body length. Now this guy's tail is actually kind of short, and that might mean that he is a young salamander. It also could mean that he lost part of his tail and is regrowing it. Salamanders have that regrowing process if they lose a part of their tail, a limb, or anything like that. Now salamanders like this, that small slender species, you want to be very careful with if you find out in the wild. They are what's known as a lungless or a woodland salamander. And lungless meaning that they get their oxygen through their skin. So if you do pick them up, you always want to make sure your hands are nice and moist. And then you want to pretty immediately put them back down. Because they have a very special way that they breathe that oxygen through their skin. And if they get too dry, they can have problems. And if they get too wet, they can have problems. But I could not resist sharing them with you today. So why don't you follow me and we'll put them right back where we found them.